is up guys Steve here and in this video we're gonna be talking about how you can stop giving a rat's ass what people think about you so let's do this before we get into this video if you're new here make sure you subscribe right now for all your latest fitness and lifestyle content if you're not new here you know this is of course mindset on the move and I'm usually in my car which is over there but today I'm on the move outside I am within my five kilometer exercise radius so no worries there we're obviously on the move so let's get into the mindset part of things today we're talking about how to stop caring so much what other people think about you now this is really hard for all of us regardless of who you are and personally it's something that I'm working on at the moment considering you know this I mean, I'm walking around a car park right now, but I'm, I'm going to go out into the main road and there's got to be people looking at me weird because I'm holding a camera and all that. So I'm going to try and give you my three main tips to help you care less about what, what people think about you. Make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'll give you some bonus stuff at the end as well because I'm sound. To narrow down what I've done to stop caring so much what people think is to kind of think of it in, in three main ways. One is the people. The people who are judging you the second thing is filtering so filtering what's good feedback from those people or what's just background noise and the last thing is adjusting so changing what you do based on what you want not what you think they want starting with people especially like as i said right now a little bit selfish so one way I think about all this is most people are too busy thinking about themselves and what other people think about them to give a shit about you a great famous purple comedian once said no one gives a fuck about your head and it's true you, you put too much pressure on yourself that people don't really care that much about what you're doing I mean I get a few weird looks off people here and there for doing this but I, I'm going with it I try and narrow down the types of people that I'll kind of let influence me to about three groups. First one, hey buddy, first one is negative people. So a lot of people are just negative, like they're going to say shit about you regardless of what you do. You could have the greatest fitness transformation in all your life, put pictures of it on the internet and people turn around and still say your shit. Like, some people are just dicks. That's life. The second type is bored people. And, like, especially right now, people are bored. They're gonna say shit online. They're gonna judge you for what you're doing. They're gonna judge you for what you're doing. Um, their life just isn't as interesting as yours. That's, they just wanna see what you're doing and get a piece of it. Wouldn't worry about them either. The last one, and the one you actually need to focus on is the support of people like the people in your life who are supporting what you're doing these supportive people in your life that actually care what you're doing and these are the people you need to surround yourself with and if you surround yourself with negative and bored people you're just going to get negative and boring feedback you need to find people who are interested in what you're doing who want to support what you're doing like for example this youtube channel a couple of my friends are you know supporting me doing this and it's great to get that kind of you know that help that you know it makes you want to do it more whereas if i surrounded myself with negative people I, I wouldn't be doing this like too many people i'd be worried about all the judgment and like why bother surround yourself with supportive people don't, don't worry about everyone else they're either just being too negative or they're just bored with their own lives don't worry about it. Surrounding yourself with supportive people will allow you to filter. It'll allow you to filter out the shit that you have to deal with. And you can pick out what you deem is useful. If you filter it out so that you try and find some positive things in with all the negative, it'll make your life easier. Filter out the comments you're getting back. Like, I know it's hard. You could get a thousand compliments or a thousand comments saying what you're doing is great and you'll only see the one that says you're a dick and you know you might take that personally but it's up to you to filter it and once you've surrounded yourself with supportive people 
you're getting less negative feedback and you can filter out all the shit you you'll be on your way you'll be doing well hey friend nice mark once you learn to filter out some of the nonsense you're getting back the last bit is adapting what you're doing Casey Neustadt has a great quote that says everybody should be either living their dream or figuring out what that is now obviously he takes that to a bit of an extreme doing what he does but in an everyday sense of things if you don't know what your dream is you know you're going you're doing nine to five you're in college just kind of figuring out that's fine live your life doing that but your dream should be yours it shouldn't be influenced by what other people think of you filter out the negativity surround yourself with supportive people and they'll support what you want to do that's the point if you want to go on a fitness transformation or if you want to start a vlog or a YouTube channel or whatever it is doesn't matter what it is the supportive people will help you get there and you'll find out what your dream is and you can follow it doesn't matter what anyone else thinks this all ties in with adapting what you're doing if you hate what you're doing why are you doing it you should be figuring out your dream if you haven't pinned down your goals and are working on them you're just kind of wasting your time you're just going through the motions day after day and you're not getting anywhere you need to adapt what you're doing so that it's easier to support you don't believe in what you're doing there's nobody's going to support you all you're going to get is negativity if you're half-assing it just kind of going yeah i might do this i might lose some weight i might go to the gym people are going to give you the same the same attitude back they'll half-ass their support it'll be like yeah you know you might get there I'm still getting people looking at me weird. But I don't care. It's the joy. It makes your life easier. Hey friends. We looked at the types of people, first of all. Predominantly negative or bored. You're not going to get anywhere. You need to surround yourself with supportive people. Once you have supportive people on board with you, it'll make it much easier to filter out what's good information, what's good feedback, and what's background noise. Once you can filter out the background noise, it's you're much more powerful. You, you don't care anymore. You know what you need to care about. The last bit then is adapting based on what you've learned. Not adapting based on what people think about you, but about what your goal is and what you want to pursue. Once you can adapt and follow that, you're you're on the right track. You're you're heading towards your goals. Big trucks. Some concrete stuff. No idea. It's windy. I hope this isn't fucking with the mic. So we looked at the three main aspects of giving a shit that you need to worry about. After that, let's talk about what it's like to get there. Once you stop caring, what, what's gonna happen? The main thing I can think of is you kind of have a weight lifted off your head. You're not really worried about you know what he said or what she said or what she's thinking or why, why that guy's looking at me like it doesn't matter to you anymore you're just focusing on you and you're working on what you want to do it takes away the background noise you don't give a shit it, it makes everything so much easier it also makes it easier to focus on your goals so if like me you're on a fitness journey if I was worried about what every single person thought about what I was doing what content I would like I wouldn't get anywhere I'm focused on making quality content tracking my journey and hopefully you'll be able to use that to help with your journey that's the point of this channel it doesn't matter to me people around me care about it. If, I, if I cared about all that I wouldn't be able to focus on this and this is what matters to me friends on this hi friends once you stop caring not only will everything get that, that little bit easier because you don't have that voice annoying you all the time worrying about other people it'll also help you focus more on what you want to achieve and overall help you get there if you're finding these mindset on the move videos in any way helpful please support me by subscribing liking commenting fucking truck ruining my video so by subscribing liking or commenting i will talk to you in the comments if you have any questions I'll sort you out down there. Don't worry about it. But yeah, interact. It helps me. And it'll help you. Now, I'm working on an Instagram account for this channel. Those people who follow this who actually know me will know I haven't been on Instagram in years. I think two years at least. Any social media. 
this is a big thing for me so i'll start linking the the instagram account in the description below and start tagging in the videos once it's up and running so give that a bit of support as well i'd appreciate it so just to summarize again negative people out supportive people in once you filter out everything then you'll be able to adapt your behavior and just be more in tune with your goals and able to focus and that's that's the takeaway from this so this was the course mindset on the move so the rest of the playlist is up top and then down the bottom here is what youtube thinks you should watch next check it out